Well, we are talking about Hurricane Ian today, currently a Category 3 storm. You can take a look here at our visible satellite imagery. You can see that eye right in the center there. It's trekking north, but also has a little bit of an easterly aspect to it. So we're going to be watch, uh, watching what it does here in these next several hours, because that's really going to dictate where it goes. You can see uh, with these spaghetti models here, if we can show them, there we go. Uh, we have a lot of different paths that this storm could take, and that means a lot of different things here for the floor to coastline. You can see here with our storm surge map, uh, we do have Port Charlotte right now in the fire here. You can see those red colorings. That means greater storm surge of over nine feet could be possible in that location, but that is a lot better than what we were seeing earlier here in Tampa Bay, where they had that 10 foot storm surge. The track is going a little bit further south, so luckily Tampa Bay won't be in seeing the worst of this hurricane here. If we uh, just skip ahead to our storm surge map, you can see 8 to 12 feet south of Tampa Bay, but then once you get towards Tampa Bay, they're on the northern side of that storm, so that means they'll be seeing less of an impact, but certainly things could shift left or right, and that's why it is always important to evacuate uh, when told to do so. And a little weather for dummies here. Explain the spaghetti model. Yeah, so you, the spaghetti models are... It's a, it's a combination of different models. So the Europeans have a model, the United States have a model, Canada has a model. We put those all together. And then within those models, they have little other outputs, kind of like think of it as a spider web, all the different ways that the storm could go based on that one model or several models. We use all of those to try and predict where this storm could go. Yeah. And certainly other models are better than others, but you can never count one out. And AJ, you don't want to be what, on the eastern yeah, so you don't want to be on, I would say, it's called the right front quadrant. So if the okay. storm's moving northward, you don't want to be right here because that's where the storm moving itself. So it's, if it's moving north at 20 miles per hour and also has those winds going 140 miles per hour, then it'll be more closer towards 160 miles per hour. But if you're on the other side, it actually subtracts some of that wind. So you don't want to be really on the right front quadrant side of that storm. Yeah, all right. Hey, we're watching it. Thanks, AJ.